Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to learn in a T6 Pro Z-Wave thermostat to an IQ2 Plus. All right, now the T6 Z-Wave thermostat, first you need to make sure it's a Z-Wave, all right? Only Z-Wave thermostats will learn in to the IQ2 Panel Plus. Um, this process that I'm going to be showing you guys today can also be used on a normal IQ2. So if you guys have a normal IQ2, you can do the exact same process. I'm just using an IQ2 Plus for today's video. And again, I'm going to be using Honeywell's or Residio's uh, T6 Pro Z-Wave thermostat. All right, If it's a Wi-Fi thermostat, it will not work. Now, if you guys have an IQ2 Plus panel, it also does not matter which version you guys have, whether it's the 319.5 megahertz, whether it's the 345 megahertz, or the 433 megahertz, it doesn't matter which IQ2 panel, panel Plus you have, um, the process is gonna work. You just have to make sure that the thermostat is a Z-Wave thermostat, all right? So the first thing you wanna do whenever you're learning in devices is exclude the thermostat. So uh, to exclude the thermostat, you just have to go to your advanced settings on your IQ2 Plus. So I'm going to hit the top button up here. I'm going to go to my settings. It, right now it's letting me know um, that I have no Wi-Fi access. If your panel is connected to Wi-Fi, it won't give you this error. I'm just going to hit OK for now since that's neither here nor there. We're going to go to advanced settings. When I click advanced and settings, it's going to ask me to enter in a code. You need to enter in your installer code or your dealer code. Default codes are 1111 or 2222. So either one of those should work unless you or your company have changed them. So I'm just going to use, for example, 1111. I'm going to go to installation, devices. We're learning in a Z Wave device, or sorry, we're excluding it first. So we go to Z Wave devices, and you're going to see a clear device. When you go to clear device, it is going to tell you to press the Z Wave exclude on the thermostat, and I'm going to show you guys how to get to that as well. Um, when you're setting this up, you want to make sure that you don't have the thermostat really far away as it might not hear it. Um, my thermostat's not that far away, so I don't have to take mine off. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, hit clear device, and it's going to go into a listening mode. So now it's listening for my thermostat to go into an exclusion mode, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so now that we're at the thermostat, we have the panel in a listening mode to exclude the device. We're going to go ahead and just, uh, if your thermostat screen isn't on, you just want to tap it. You're then going to go to menu. Use the left and the right arrow keys to make your way over to uh, Z-Wave setup. You're going to hit select, and there should be an exclude button. Once you hit select on the exclude, as long as the IQ2 panel is still in that listening mode, it will automatically exclude it from whatever device it was previously learned into, allowing you to include it later on. So now, as you saw, the thermostat, as soon as you hit this exclude on the thermostat, it said excluded, and then it also give you a confirmation on the IQ2 panel saying that the thermostat is deleted from the network successfully. So now that the thermostat is cleared and it's fully excluded, now all you have to do is just learn it in and include it. So I'm just going to hit OK. And now we have to hit Add Device. When we hit Add Device, we're going to hit Include. It's going to go into a listening searching mode. Now we have to include it at the thermostat. So when you excluded the thermostat, it brought you back out to the um, to the main screen. So you have to go back into menu. You have to go into the Z-Wave setup and you include or you add device. All right, I'm going to show you guys that right now as well. So you go ahead and tap on your thermostat to light it up. We're going to go ahead and go to menu. Hit the right arrow key to go to Z-Wave setup, select, and then you're going to go ahead and do set control. Now before you guys do set control, you want to make sure that the panel is in the include mode. So I'm going to hit include. It goes into the learning mode, and now I can go ahead and hit select on the include on the thermostat. And you should see here that now it brings up the node ID 3. It will let you know that the type thermostat was added, and you can even play around with the thermostat name. You can give it a custom name, so I'll name it... Uh, 
alarm grid thermostat. And you just hit add. And it'll let me know that the alarm grid thermostat has been added successfully. Once the thermostat is included, I just hit the house button. And if I go to my IQ2 panel and I swipe, I now see the thermostat. I can control the temperature by going up and down. If you guys have alarm.com access, the thermostat should now be included into your alarm.com service and the application as well. You just If you don't see the thermostat option available on your account, you just need to let your company know that you want it enabled. All right. Um, and again, depending on what company you're with, it might just be free of charge. Some other companies may charge you extra for it. Um, if you have home automation enabled, it shouldn't be any extra charge, but just get in contact with the company and let them know, hey, I just added a Z-Wave thermostat and I need the thermostat feature enabled on my alarm.com. You can control the thermostat from there. You can create scenes. So whenever you arm the system away, you can have the temperature go up to a uh, normal temperature. Whenever you get home using the geofence features, you can have it drop back to a certain temperature. That way the house is cool by the time you're walking in. Um, and just to show you guys, I can go ahead and change the temperature by using the down, whoop, by using the down arrow key. Um, it'll actually say there setting target temperature. So it actually has to send the command through Z-Wave back to the thermostat. So I'm just going to leave it at 73 for now. And that is just a quick video on how to get your Honey, your Residio T6 Pro Z-Wave thermostat learned into an IQ2 Plus panel. And again, it is the same process learning it into an IQ2 system as well. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to email us to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable notifications so whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.